Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through today in this reading may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from it what resonates for you and for your situation and release the rest to the universe. I've been watching your social media. Your person's trying to find out what's going on in your life now. Obviously, all they really have to do is pick up the phone, text you, call you, and ask you. But they have been, well, spying on you through social media, if you have social media. So please only take that if it resonates for you. They want to see what's going on with you. They want to see how you're looking these days, what's going on in your life. They want to see if you're moving on, if you have moved on, if you've got someone else that you're interested in. Perhaps you're starting to build a new connection with someone else. They're trying to find out what's going on. Perhaps they're also asking mutual acquaintances or perhaps family friends about what's going on with you in your life in terms of have you moved on? Do they still have a chance? But this is why they're looking at your social media. They want to see if you are still there for them. And again, all they have to do really is pick up the phone text, call, ask you, send a smoke signal, whatever. But they're doing this from a distance. They're doing it from afar because they're not ready yet to have communication with you. I know you're the one and that scares me. Your person has always known that you are the one. From the moment the two of you entered each other's lives, in that whirlwind and rush of energy that both of you felt at that time, in that moment, your person knew that you are the one for them. They knew that their life moving forward was going to be forever different. They knew that they were going to have to be accountable and responsible to this relationship. They, know they, they knew that they were going to have to be an adult to put forth the energy required to maintain and sustain this love connection that's here between you. The time for childish games is gone. They knew that they were going to have to grow up and be emotionally mature and responsible to their emotions in sharing those feelings with you and being accountable to this connection and to themselves and to the universe. That scared them. This is what caused them to run. They saw in the moment the two of you met the future unfolding in front of their eyes. They saw this future with you, knowing that the two of you were going to come into this commitment, this long-term partnership, whether it was domestic arrangement or marriage or whatever the situation is for you and your person. They knew that from that moment, everything was going to be different and they were scared because they weren't ready to make those changes yet. They hadn't attained that level of emotional maturity and responsibility, but they're getting there. They are going through that growth now during the time that you are in separation. We need to take it slow. When your person returns, it's going to be really hard to take it slow, guys, because the energy between the two of you is off the chain. When the two of you first met, did things go really quickly? Did you spend all of your time together texting, talking, hanging out, doing things, talking about everything and anything under the sun, revealing things to them that you've never shared with anyone else? Things moved very quickly. And that is the tendency in this kind of connection because the souls recognize each other when you first meet. And the souls want to get moving and grooving because they know that they belong together. Your souls know that the two of you belong together. So what your person is saying here is when we come back together, we will need to take it slow. If it moves too quickly again, then I may fear that I'm going to lose control again. This is about them trying to maintain control over their emotions so that they don't get out of control for them. This will give them a greater sense of stability. But like I said, the challenge for you guys is going to be taking it slow. 
because it's going to be very hard. It will feel like no time has passed when the two of you are talking and spending time together, even though for some of you it's been many years. But the connection is eternal. That's why it will feel like no time has passed. So try to set that boundary and allow this connection to develop naturally and organically. I long to sweep you off your feet and shower you with my love. Well, there goes that whole thing about needing to take it slow. That's just blown off the rails at this point, guys. But your person does want to sweep you off their feet, off your feet, and they do want to shower you with their love. They miss you. They miss being with you. They want to regain this connection with you. Your person wants to regain this energy between the two of you and this connection in their lives because they know the two of you belong together. When I let myself go deeper into thoughts of you, I can feel my heart opening. Again, this tells us your person knows that you are the one. And while it may have scared them in the past, they are working through those fears so that they can release them once and for all, so that they can shower you with their love as they come into union with you. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, everyone.